Hello everyone. So right now uh, we have a guest, Yulia, uh, the coordinator and representative of Ingas State University in India. And uh, we are going to have a short interview with her. And I will ask the most asked question by the students related to Ingas State University, which they want to know, but uh, they should have the answer from you. So I will try to ask your question as better as possible. And you should uh, get your reply from Yulia herself. So, Yulia, uh, first of all, welcome to GMMBS Study Abroad. Thank you. Uh, how do you like India? I like India very much. Thank you so much for the invitation. Yes, uh, we are so glad to have you as a guest. So, uh, the most students want to know uh, about, first of all, tell us something about Ingas State University. Hello, everyone. I'm Yulia. I came especially to tell you about our English University. Uh, I just want to tell you some little information about it. Uh, first, when you will come, you will like it very much. We have good nature, good weather, uh, good state, uh, beautiful uh, nature around. Um, it's very big campus, it's new building, it's running by um, government, so it's uh, good, clean and perfect, uh, perfectly. Uh, made uh, for students, not only uh, local students, but but also students from abroad. Uh, you just answered the best way possible. I, even I could not imagine to answer the question like this. Thank you. <laughs> yes, yeah. uh, the next question and the most asked question right now in the current scenario, uh, what is the impact of war? If we have to give a comparison before and after war, if our students are going to study in Russia, if they were going before the war, it was everything was normal. But if they go now, is there will be any differentiation, any issues or what? Right now, currently no issues at all, because war, the, war is in different countries, in Ukraine, in Russia, everything is okay right now. And uh, English state is uh, next to Georgia, so it's uh, very far from central uh, part of Russia. So now everything is okay, no need to worry, no issues. The, you know, the main thing which our Indian students face when they go to Russia for a study is the climate, the temperature is minus 30, minus 25 and here you can see the temperature, it's uh, a mix, it's not so cold. In, if, even in winter we just get 6 degree or 5 degree, very rarely. But if our students are going there, in Ingas State University, what will be the climate there? Will it, will it be difficult for our students to survive? I understand your worries, but nothing to worry because uh, English state is, as I already told you, it's uh, next to Georgia, so it's next to, uh, it's south part of Russia, so it's very comfortable, very soft climate, so it will be less cold than in central regions, it will be very comfortable for you, so you will like it for sure. That's the main question of you, the main uh, issues raised by your parents. And our students, so you know, you must be comfortable by knowing that you can go and everything will be similar in uh, English. You will not have a single issue in Magas city. And can you tell us something about the Magas city itself? It's a capital of English state. Uh, so all facilities in, is in uh, this city only. It's a central city of English state. So whatever you will get the best, you will get in this city only. Yeah, the, just like the capital city and yes. the far cities. Yes, exactly. So the main thing about this question, every parent asks, every student asks, will they get any Indian teacher there this year to study? Yes, yes. This year we are planning to arrange two, three Indian teachers as it's very important for Indian parents. So we are planning for that. So just to take care of the Indian parents, you are planning to have Indian teachers there? Yes. So, and, uh, how do the local people, do they like Indians, if our students are going there, they are getting into their space, personal space. So how do the local residents of Mangas like foreigners? First thing, it's a very big campus. Uh, Indian students basically will stay inside campus only, but even outside it's very safe because we have police everywhere. So it's very safe to stay, to walk, uh, even in the evening, late night, so nothing to worry. Uh, it's very good and very safe area. So do the local like Indian students to have them or do they don't like that? Yes, yes, we have no issues and uh, now in the, between Russia and India it's very good relationship so nothing to worry. Not for yourself? Yes, yes. Like even if a girl child is going, her parents should not worry about the safety? Nothing to worry. Actually, if you will check information from Russia, you will not find even any single case 
about uh, any problems with the foreigner students. So you yes. can check on internet. Yes. You will never find it. Yes, that's true. Yes. No issues. No issues. Yes. Uh, right now you, you have been in India for one or two months uh, doing seminars and all. So uh, let me ask you, you have already seen the cities and the local food, uh, fruits, what we get here, the local culture. So if our Indian students are going there and if they want to have something to eat, the foods and fruits, vegetables also, if they want to cook, what will be the scenarios? As I already mentioned before, it's uh, south part of Russia. So all uh, possible fruits and vegetables are available. I'm myself vegetarian, so I have no issues with food. So it's similar, just like India, we will yes, get all the vegetables? Yes, yes, yes. All so fruits. Indian yes, yes, Indian students can cook in campus uh, their Indian food, so no issues. They can get some spices, they can get some stuff for cooking and uh, no issues. Is there kitchen available in the hostel? Yes, of course. So there is no extra charges? It's very normal, yes. Normal. Indian, in, not only Indian local students are also cooking inside of the campus. And so it's very normal. What about the hostel safety, security in the hostel? Hostel is very safe. As I mentioned, we have uh, security everywhere and the police outside of uh, university area and inside of university it will be security for sure. So interest. we should not worry about any safety, not in the city, not in the hostel. Yes, it's of course. It will be very safe. Yes. So now tell us uh, the main thing. The students are going there to study medicine and to become a doctor. So they must need to have uh, some clinical exposure to treat patients. So will our Indian student be allowed to treat patients in Inga State University? Yes, of course, it's part of uh, studying. Actually, uh, it, as I already mentioned, it's a city is a cap capital of um, English mm. state. So many people will be coming uh, to Inbush to capitals uh, hospitals to get treatment. So of course. Our uh, students will also be allowed to treat patients. Yes, right? of course, of course. In practice time, they will be allowed, of course. So there is one rumor going on in India, especially that uh, so many people are creating rumors like if we send our student to Russia, there in the university, the Russian students, the locals, they are uh, trained and uh, teased in a different way, in a good way. And our Indian students are teased in an inferior way, separately. So what is the truth in it? There is no separation. Uh, we will take care of uh, in equal in with the uh, Indian students and local students. There is no any difference. This is just a rumor going in the market. Rumors, right? University treat equally everyone. Yes, of course, of course. There is no it's difference obvious. at all. There is no difference at all. In a study, in anything. Nothing, nothing. Only issue can be language, but it's also managed. Like with time, it's obviously you have to learn language. Yes, language. Yes, yes. But so, it will, it will be, it will give you benefits in future. Of yes, of course, to work or to. to yes, live yes, there. of course. So uh, the first thing first, if our students are going there, uh, definitely it will take them six or eight months to learn the local language. Mm. So in that six to eight months, what problem they can face? Indian students are very smart and fast. They will manage. <laughs> they they are good with the languages, so they will learn very fast. I'm sure. So they will not have any. They will have to Teachers will help. It's, will help. it's their job. Yes, they will help for sure. They will be happy to help. And even if we are going in a new culture, we must face few difficulties to learn. A struggle is a way to get success. Yes. So that's a good thing to have a few problems and all. So right now, uh, if you have to uh, say something about Ingas State University and Indian students, so will you recommend it? Of course, you, you are a representative of the university, so you will recommend it. But uh, being neutral, uh, not take a side, uh, if you are a parent, so will you choose your child to go there and study in Ingas State University? I would recommend to uh, try some new options. I mean, uh, not to study in India, but to study in some other country. It's very good option. You will learn new language, you will meet new people, you will um, learn new knowledges. So it's very good opportunity to study abroad. Very good opportunity. Mm -hmm. So uh, we are uh, talking for so long and I don't, I don't want to keep this video very long. Or so many people will uh, believe it be too hard to watch. You will feel it boring. So. Cutting it short, I will ask your opinions and a short message for our Indian students who are coming to Ingas State University for their study. Uh, so what will we, you want to say to the students? What will you suggest them? What should they prepare before they come and how should they study? Your, uh, a combined short message for the students. 
Uh, we are very welcome uh, to get you as students in our university, in our country. Uh, we will take care of all uh, accommodation, all uh, uh, important information, so you no need to worry. Please come and study in our country, you will love it. Thank you. Thank you so much everyone. Thank you so much, Julia, for Thank giving you. us a so valuable time and to help us solve the doubts of our students. We are so happy to have you as a guest. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're welcome.